AppSocial is a powerful tool to manage all your social media channels in one place. The app gives you full control of your social media accounts along the whole social media process, from uploading and curating content in the digital library, to composing posts in the post manager, where you can also schedule future posts and view them in the campaigns view. This also includes a calendar view so you can keep track of your posting frequency easily. Once your posts have been posted to all your social media channels, you can go on to boost them as advertisements using Facebook and Twitter ads and get live analytics on how your posts are performing using the reporting feature. In this video, I'm going to take you through the Math Social app chronologically through the whole social media management process. So, let's start with the digital library. Here you can store all the image, video and audio files you want to use for your social media channels. The digital library is great for keeping all your files inside your social media management workflow without needing to use third-party file sharing services. This really helps keep everything you need in one place. Once your files are uploaded into the digital library, the Math Social app will analyze the files and show you information and data about the file. If you hover over a picture, you can see the format, file size, and more. And most importantly, the social media networks that will support this file. As you can see, this image can be uploaded to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Tumblr. However, if our file size was greater than the file size limit for Twitter, for example, you would not be able to upload it to Twitter, and therefore you would not see the Twitter icon. The same applies to videos. Here you would see key information and data about the video and the social media networks that can support them. This makes it very easy to see if your pictures and videos are the right size, format, and length for each social media platform. Now that the files you want to upload are in the digital library, you can start to write a post. So let's head over to the post manager to begin. This is where you are going to draft your post. At the top, you will see an icon containing the letter M, and to the right of it, all your social media platforms. The M tab is your master post where you will compose your post for it to be copied across to the post editors for each of the other social media platforms. In Post Manager, you can upload images from your digital library, upload images locally, or browse from a selection of stock images to include on your post. After selecting your images, write something in your post. You can also add a link in your post by pasting the desired link into this box. MathSocial will then produce a shortened version of the link, which you can customize in your profile settings. You can amend the content for each social media channel later. The master post is merely the draft for which the contents are copied across to each channel. So, let's now amend your post for each social media network, starting with Facebook. By hovering over the Facebook icon, you can add the Facebook pages you wish to publish to by checking the boxes. Now, let's click on the Facebook icon to edit your Facebook post. You'll see that all the content from your master post is copied across, and you can preview what the post will look like when we publish it to Facebook. Just as you did with the master post, you can add or remove images, links, or change the post content specific to each platform, and view these changes in real time in the preview on the right-hand side. Since you'll have already drafted the post in the master post, there isn't much left to change. But here you can tag people and Facebook pages by simply adding an at symbol and beginning to type the person or page you wish to tag. You can also tag a location by searching the location in this box. You'll notice how similar this tag search function is to Facebook's native environment. Once you are happy with your Facebook post, you can select whether you'd like to utilize Facebook post targeting and edit the interests, demographics, and languages of the audiences you're trying to target. If you currently utilize Facebook targeting, this process will be identical to the Facebook native environment. Let's move on to Twitter. To choose which Twitter account you would like to publish to, simply hover over the Twitter icon and check the boxes of the accounts that you would like to post to, just as you did for Facebook. Now, if you decided you don't want to use the same pictures as you use for the Facebook post, you can move them or change them using either the digital library, uploading a file locally, or selecting a picture from MathSocial's extensive range of stock images. Using the built-in stock images tool, you can search for any particular image you want to use. 
So let's look for a picture of a sunset, for example. And all of the images in MapSocial's stock image library are completely free to use. To use one of the stock images, just click on the image and it will add to your post. You can also download it to your digital library by pressing the icon in the top right hand corner. Watch how the preview on the right hand side updates to your changes in real time. You can then proceed to do the same process for all the other social media networks. MapSocial also allows you to create hashtag lists for you to insert into your future Instagram, Facebook, and all other social media posts with just a few clicks. To do this, just go to account settings and hashtags, then click create to add a new list of hashtags. You can see that the hashtag list will paste all the hashtags you entered in just a few clicks. With Instagram posting, Make sure that you are posting to an Instagram business account and not a personal account. If you do not have a business account, make sure to upgrade your account for free on Instagram before posting with MapSocial. It is also important to note that while multiple image Instagram posts can be scheduled in MapSocial, they cannot be published directly from MapSocial on the desktop. This is due to Instagram's API restrictions, and these restrictions apply to all social media management software. But fortunately, MapSocial has created a solution to this by introducing MapSocial mobile app, which allows you to simply publish the post after scheduling it on desktop. To complete your Instagram publishing on mobile, go to the campaigns view and find the date that you have scheduled the post. Click on the post and you will be redirected to the Instagram app where your post will be published in the uploader. So, when you have finished your post, Go back to the master post and you can press publish, which will immediately post to all the selected social media accounts shown below. You can also press draft, which will save your post as a draft in the campaign planner. Or you can choose to schedule this post to automatically post at a given date and time. You can schedule the post by clicking on the calendar icon. Here you can choose which day you want to publish the post. For example, five days from now and at which time and time zone. I'll post it at 5 p.m. London time. This makes it easy to publish at the perfect time and day to get the most engagement and reach from your audience. You can also opt for an email notification for when your post goes live. When you've decided on the day and time to publish, you can go ahead and press schedule. You'll have a notification pop up on the right hand side of the screen informing you that your posts have been scheduled successfully. Of course, just as we amended the post for each channel, it is also possible to schedule your post separately for each platform. If, for example, you'd like your Instagram post to go out at 10 past 5 p.m. on a Tuesday and your Facebook post at 11 a.m. on a Thursday. This is just done by scheduling the post under each social media network tab rather than under the master post. You can see all your completed, drafted and scheduled posts in the campaign calendar view. This helps to see how often you are posting and help you keep consistent with your social media posting frequency. All your scheduled posts will appear in gray. Your completed posts are green and any saved drafts will appear in yellow. Scheduling and posting with MapSocial is that easy. When your post has finally gone live, you can respond to comments, retweets, messages and more from the social inbox. Here you will be able to see any actions taken by your audience, including messages and mentions for you to respond to without ever leaving the mad social environment. This is particularly useful if you have customers message you with questions about your product or service and ensures that you don't miss any or leave any frustrated customers unanswered. Let's respond to some of these actions in my social inbox. Here we have a message on Facebook. I can see the customer's message and I can respond to it here without ever leaving MapSocial, including attaching files from our digital library or computer and even inserting emoticons. When I have responded to this message and resolved the customer's question, I can press the checkbox on the social inbox item and the action will be moved from our incomplete folder to our completed folder. For business and enterprise users, you can see what people are saying about you and your brand using social listening. This function allows you to search social media networks for keywords or key phrases in posts updating in real time. For example, if I wanted to see what people are saying about MapSocial, I could use the keywords like MapSocial or Social Media Management. 
Then I would be able to see all Twitter and Facebook posts containing these keywords or key phrases to help me understand my audience. MavSocial is a powerful tool for businesses and agencies to fully control social media channels and streamline your workflow. See what MavSocial can do for you and your business and try it for free today, starting with your 14-day free trial.